Mr. Sifu here. Welcome back to the show. Today, let's talk about exorcism cases that I have dealt with. So just to let you know, okay, there are people who come to me for help and expect like a one-time treatment to fix their many years of spiritual problem. I'm telling you up front here that I cannot do that. Okay, I cannot do that. I, I have no way to fix it by just like a one-time treatment because there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things involved to fix the problem. So usually when people are just started, right, they're not ready to commit a lot or pay a lot. So I will say, well, let's start with two fu or one fu, right? The fu is like a paper, right? Uh, the yellow paper, okay? So you buy the fu here, okay? And then carry it or put this at home or somewhere. Use the fu. It will give you help, but it will not fix the problem. Okay, because the problem is like lots of things are involved, right? You can't just fix the problem by having a food. So when you buy the food, how much is it? Well, I charge 68 Canadian dollars one food. Okay, so two foods, about like 120, something like that. You're not buying a piece of paper. You're buying, like you're not buying anything. You're giving an offering to the God to ask for help. You're not buying a piece of paper. You're not buying a food. You're not even buying surface. You're giving an offering to show the God, okay, I need your help. Okay? So, yeah, there are food that is like very cheap outside, okay? $3, $10. There are these kind of cheap stuff out there. But as I have taught people all the time, you get what you paid for, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway. You think I'm too expensive? Go somewhere else. I don't care. <laughs> okay? But here you go. This is what I call inexpensive first-time help. Okay? It will bring you light. It will help you. It will lighten up the problem. But then, to fix the whole spiritual problem, right? Usually, there are much more involved. Let me give you an example. There's a guy come to me. And he say he has spiritual attacks and all that, right? Okay, long story short, he got attacked by some enemies right, in uh, business by evil magic stuff. And then he start to have all kinds of health issues. And then he have uh, cancer. A few months left and you're going to die, you know, that kind of thing, right? So I cannot fix that with one food. No way. Okay, so what I suggested, get ordained first. When you get ordained, you become a disciple, a Taoist in our sect. Then our God is like, oh, you're the same family. We have to protect you. Protection is given. Everything is better. Right? As long as you have your faith in the God. So after that, right, you can get a food to like more protection. And then as time goes on, right, we have to do ceremonies to exercise the stuff. Ceremonies are never cheap. Why? Lots of things are involved. Like so many things to do and a lot of risk for me as well. Like let's say someone's attacking you with evil magic. I do a ceremony for you, right? End up that the other guy will know, oh, someone is like breaking my magic. So they will want to fight back and end up like me and this guy is fighting and we can kill each other. Like with magic. So... If one side lost the battle, right, they're going to get sick. They're going to they're gonna have all kinds of issues. So it's a big risk when you do evil magic battle, right, like that. So when you guys are fighting with magic, I'm not just like oh, I'm not doing a routinely kind of thing. I'm risking myself in danger as well. Just like firefighter go into the fire and save people, right? they will also die if they're like not careful or something accident happened. People don't understand that like ceremonies or magic battles are like this. They believe it's like you just do something on yourself like right here, right? On your own and then that's it. It's like a performance. No, no, it's not, okay? You can end up in big shit. So my ceremony charge is expensive few hundred dollars to thousands of dollars. But this is what the, the guy need. So he paid for the ceremony. 
Not one, a few. And then we get it going. Okay, after like one, two years, cancer gone. Problems gone. Wow, yeah. It's a lot of stuff involved, right? Not just ceremony. Beside that, because he's ordained, so he keep learning. I also teach him magic that he can cultivate and use every day. So imagine the guy attacking him and every day he's like doing magic to bounce it back, to clean it off, right? The other guy is not going to have fun time. So, and then I have to teach him, go around the house, search for things that is like related to these people or things that is like not good. Right? Anything that can be a portal to negative energies or magic or whatever, get rid of it. Tons of stuff thrown out. Like you have to clear the house, throw many things out, right? Like half of the house is gone. And you're like rebuilding your life. After all that work, okay, finally, problem solved. And there you go, new life. So can I fix your problem? Yes, I can. But it is, number one, not going to be cheap. Number two, it requires your commitment. Number three, you need to have faith. You need to trust. You need to be determined to keep going. If your attitude is shit, it's not going to work. Like if you're here to test and see, right? It's not going to work. If you're not listening to my instruction, not going to work. If you're not cooperating, not going to work. Same thing as you go to a doctor to ask for help. You don't cooperate. You don't believe. It's not going to work. The doctor cannot deal with your problem because you are not cooperating. So, yes, I can fix problem, but only for those who cooperate and really have the trust, faith, and determination. Keep that in mind in case you're coming here for help. See you in the next one.